You ever wonder how Courage the Cowardly Dog got away with being a horror show on a network primarily for young audiences? Well, it seems like in the world of television, if you animate, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Animation is truly amazing like that. Possibilities are endless, limited only by imagination. And this is especially the case when you work with the absurdest blank canvas of nowhere. Courage the Cowardly Dog created nightmares that permeated many of our childhoods, but we didn't turn away. We didn't stop watching because it was fun for the whole family. The moon is right, the stage is set, so let's take a look at how Courage the Cowardly Dog made horror family friendly. <laughs> Okay, what makes Courage the Cowardly Dog scary? I think to answer this, you have to start with the titular character. We see the world through the eyes of a little pink dog that's afraid of everything. That includes everything from spiders and snakes all the way up to the super scary, stinking big city. But Courage's clear and outward fear isn't what gives us the willies. It isn't what makes us shield our eyes in terror. It's the exact opposite, actually. Courage is only a primer. He softens us up because when everything is scary, Nothing is scary. Laughing at courage show his lack of courage gets us to drop our guard, so the real chilling stuff can sink its claws and stay with us. Haunt us. Let's take a look at some examples of this in Courage's most popular episodes, starting with King Ramsey's Curse. This episode is iconic for a reason. Courage tries his damnedest to release his family from a curse, and it's good fun to watch. It's also pretty freaking creepy to watch. Look at it! This bit of CG is enough to be unsettling on its own. Pair that with a lack of situational control because of Eustace's stubbornness, and this episode is the stuff of nightmares. Think back to it, being a wee little babe watching Courage the Cowardly Dog at night, with the lights off, brain still developing. The superimposition of the two mediums is weird, but it's not always easy to pinpoint why something feels off, and I can't imagine it being any easier as a kid. It does what it sets out to do, frighten but it's also fun while it does this. Within King Ramsey's curse are three plagues, each worse than the last. This includes a flood, a ditty, and some locusts. The most important of the three being the King Ramsey song because that's what everyone remembers. It's the same thing over and over again. It's supposed to torment the Bag family, but it doesn't seem all that bad. They make it seem like the worst thing in the world, but, <coughs> but it adds levity to the mix with some humor. While the situation is pretty terrifying, it's lightened by the absurdity of what's actually happening on screen. It's silly is what it is. This is another aspect of Courage that permeates the show in its entirety. Take Demon of the Mattress for another example. I'd shit myself if my mom was ever possessed by a demonic apparition, but watching the episode I can't help but laugh. Muriel needs to be exercised of this evil, but it isn't really doing anything. It's more of a nuisance than a real threat. What does the demon want, even? I don't know, but... Courage and Eustace's efforts are hilarious, making this episode an undisputed classic. The marriage of comedy and horror is a wonderful way to make it fun and appropriate for young audiences. I'm not sure if Dilworth set out to promote child development, but Courage seems like a great way to learn about fear so that they can be overcome. The show wants you to laugh at Courage, it wants you to laugh at fear because what you see is almost never as bad as what it actually turns out to be. The lessons in Courage are on point. Like, zombies are no big deal if you're clever and have a shovel handy. Empowering stuff. Well, I guess in the same breath, it's kinda saying it's okay to be a cannibal serial killer as long as you direct shit that masses of people want to watch. I think I'll stay away from that bit of social commentary, but I won't stray away from all the other beautiful teaching moments the Courage the Cowley Dog offers. It's what the show is known for next to how scary and funny it is. The show isn't afraid to get sentimental, and when it does, it knocks it out of the park. It's the uplifting honey to the scary vinegar. In the midst of the real character moments that we get to watch, all the walls come down. In those vulnerable, sympathetic moments, we're brought back. It's a full circle. There's a certain sweetness mixed in with the horror that makes it not so bad. Courage the Cowley Dog has a heart to it. The heart rate is mostly high and erratic, but when it slows down, it makes us feel. And don't we all like to feel when we watch our cartoons? I know I do. So. Were you ever creeped out by any episodes of Courage the Cowardly Dog? Let us know down in the comments, along with some of your most favorite scary moments. Also, let me know about other scary and family-friendly shows, because I don't know enough about any others to talk about them. Thanks for taking the time to hang out with me. I hope you come back for more. And before you figure out if you want to know what's behind this door, have a good day.